Welcome back to the Crochet Crowded Souls, my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today is the Warm and Twisted Mobius Cowl. What we have here is actually a yarn that has been long gone and this is was Red Heart Boutique Midnight. I just actually switched it off with Bernat's Symphony Yarn in order to do this. We'll be using a six and a half millimeter size K crochet hook today. There is a permanent twist in here. So if you look at the model sample you see how it's twisted here. It's permanent just like that. So if you would like this particular concept but without the twist you can obviously go in the rounds without having to do the twist the first time but for uh, today's reasons I am going to show you how to do the Mobius. So it's a really cool concept and we're gonna be using uh, uh, an idea here that's actually really quite easy and let's begin to do this next. So let's begin. They tell you to use a longer um, strand here in the very beginning of this because the um, slip stitching can create a space in this one. They're just telling you that you can use that strand in order to pull all the spaces tighter together. So it is a one size item. So it is going to be a chaining of 86. So here's what I would do is that you would just go, this just do 10 first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Put it, take it off the hook and without twisting this just put the first chain on and then continue along. So do 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 and go all the way to 86 and if you leave this on the hook here then it won't be twisted when you go to do round number one. Let's do that. So get to chain to 86 or chain to 86 and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Once you come all the way to 86 just yarn over pull through that one and the original and therefore you will have a nice even circle like this. We're going to begin round number one. We are going to be creating some spacing as we go. So we're just going to go second chain from the hook. So just come over here and just single crochet second chain from the hook and it says and here's the repeat pattern. It says to chain three. So one, two and three and skip three chains. So one, two, three go to the fourth and then single crochet in the next chain and the repeat then is just make sure you go in the back hump because it's gonna be important. So chain three, so one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three and the back hump of the fourth one. Please do this all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number one. So I've now come all the way around. There's going to be 21 of these chain three spaces. So the 21th is going to be the one that I'm about to do. So what we have to do is that lay it out like it's a flat belt. Okay, so it's like a flat belt just like you see and what I want you to do is that we're going to apply a half twist to it. So instead of just single uh, slip stitching to the top of the first one like this and then it's staying flat what you wanna do is that you wanna slip stitch it um, with a half twist. So when you do it grab the bottom one and just turn it up and then slip. And what this is doing is that it's providing a twist. Do you see it? It's right here. Okay, so it, the twist can happen anywhere but that's where it's happening at this moment. So then therefore it has that twist ready to go and so you're now going to be crocheting technically on this starting chain of where we started. Let's move along to round number two. Now in a Mobius twist what's gonna happen is that we're gonna follow it and if you follow that top line over you will see that it will eventually end up on the underside here. So when we go to crochet row number two we literally have to crochet around this technically twice in order to get the back to where we started. So let's uh, begin row number two. We're going to chain total of four. So one, two, three, and four and that will count as a double crochet and a chain one space and I want you to double crochet back into that same single crochet spot or it's where you slip stitched. And now we're going to jump over and we're gonna skip the next uh, next cha uh, three chains and we're gonna double crochet into the chain at the base of the next single crochet. So it's right here. Okay so just look at the single crochet. That's the easiest way to say it. So you're just gonna double crochet and then you were going to chain one and then you were going to double crochet. Just like that. And now you're just gonna jump to the next one and then just reach over, double crochet, chain one and then double crochet. 
So as you get all the way around I'll meet you here at the other round just to make sure you understand that you are just continually following and I'll see you there in just a moment. So just double crochet, chain one, one double crochet in these single crochet spots that you see. So I'm just coming up and you can see where I started right down here right. So I'm just technically half the way around the 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 round but because it's a Mobius you literally have to circle it twice in order to get back to where you are. So I'm just crocheting now continuing along. So it appears that where I started is upside down which is perfect. And I'm continuing to do what I'm doing. So this is still round two. And so I'm just now officially finished number two and this is where I started. And I'm just going to slip stitch to the third chain of the four. And there you go. So you can see the twist is permanently in place. Let's uh, move on to round number three next. Rounds three and four are the repeat for this entire pattern. So let's just begin. We're gonna chain up one and you're gonna come right to this first chain one space. You're going to single crochet. Then you're going to chain three. So one, two, three and then go to the next chain one space right here and single crochet. Chain three and go to the next space. That's the chain one space and do that all the way around. So you'll be circling all the way around and then maybe back here in just a moment. So now just chain my three in the last one and I'm just gonna slip stitch to the very first single crochet that I started with. So you can see really quite awesome. So let's uh, begin round number four. So three and four are the repeat for this whole thing and then I will talk about the repeat, uh, repeat after this. So we're gonna chain four, one, two, three and the fourth is the chain one space. So the three is double crochet, the, the fourth is the chain one space and you're gonna double crochet into that same single crochet. So like before you're just gonna jump to this next single crochet and do what you already know. You're gonna double crochet, chain one, double crochet. That's all it is. Okay, so go to the next one, do the same. So do that all the way around. This is round number four and I'll meet you back here in just a moment. So I'm coming up to the end of number four and I'm just filling in that last stitch and then I'm gonna slip stitch to the third one of the beginning chain three or chain four. So now I need you to repeat rows number three and four two more times and then I need you to do row number three one more time after that and then that's it you're done. So I'm just gonna do that off camera. So do you remember row number three you're just gonna chain up one, one and start in the next chain one space and single crochet and then just jumping over by chaining threes and going to the next space and etc. So do, please do this and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I've just now done rows number three and four two more times and then I just finished row number three. So I've just chain three and I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning of the single crochet of that round. I'm gonna show you how to fasten off. Now I was reading the instructions that strand that we left in the very beginning of this. Um, Sometimes what can happen is that you can have an excessive gap that's here when you do the twist. I don't see it for myself so that's actually a good thing but if you do you're gonna use that strand to kind of pull things together with the tapestry needle if you wish. You're gonna have to fasten that off anyway the, the strand. So just put this onto a yarn needle and just go through the same color. So just going through this chain three area. Just go through once and when you pull on it don't change the shape. Be taught about it but don't be too hard on it. And then just go back and forth a total of three times and then it should be permanently into your project without any issues. Now the beginning one you want to go and look at that one as well. So is there any excessive gaps in here? Yes or no? And because you've done the twist that does happen so I'm just gonna throw that through a tapestry needle just to secure that into position. And again just traveling through the same colors back and forth a total of three times. So once, twice and three times. So usually I don't ever finish cows like this on a tutorial. I really liked it for myself so I got something for myself for the winter. And it really honestly didn't take long. That's kind of a, a big decision for me. So it does have a permanent twist to it. So you'll see that here. So when you're wearing it you'll see that the twist is happening and it's really amazing. So I think it's really awesome. So that's it for today. This is the Warm and Twisted Mobile Cowl by yourinspirations.com. See you again real soon. Bye bye.